We are here at San Antonio Pets Alive with Alexis. And Alexis, who's your friend right here? This is Serena. She's two months old and she came into our care this week. Tell me a little bit about San Antonio Pets Alive, what you guys do and, and what's kind of the biggest need that y'all have right now? Yes, so many needs right now. Unfortunately, sadly, this year there have been many puppies and mom and puppies on the um, arriving at the city shelter and they're ending up on the euthanasia list and San Antonio Pets Alive is a last chance rescue for dogs and cats in our city. And we need the help of the community by fostering one of our animals. We don't have a shelter and our fosters help us save, allow us to save hundreds of lives every single month. We also need adopters, anyone who is interested in adopting a dog, cat, puppy, or kitten to come visit our animals and look for, at our available animals on our website. Donors, we always have a list of items, things that, of supplies, where we rely on donations to provide for our animals and also monetary donations. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization and have to raise the money to care for our animals. And volunteers, if anyone's wanting to come hang out for a weekend and help care for our animals, volunteers are always welcome as well. So many, many things that uh, would greatly benefit our animals. We have almost 800 animals in our care right now. When these dogs are adopted or the cats are adopted, uh, what is kind of the, uh, the medical uh, things that, that are already done for the dog before somebody uh, adopts someone like this? Yes, yes. All of our animals are microchipped. They're spayed or neutered because we want to do our part to prevent additional homeless puppies, kittens from being born. This year has been really, really tough. And uh, in addition, they're up to date on vaccinations, preventatives, if they had any type of medical illness or anything that uh, showed up while they were in our care, then they were treated for it as well. If somebody's willing to make that long-term commitment to have someone like this in their home, what does it take for them to be able to adopt, adopt a puppy or a dog or a cat or, or whatever animal you have available? Yes, yes. In order to adopt, uh, we do have an adoption application on our website, SanAntonioPetsAlive.org. And then you will talk to an adoption counselor. If you aren't sure of an animal, like if you are interested in an animal, our adoption team can help you find the right fit. If you are interested in a certain animal, we encourage you to come meet the animal. You can do a meet and greet if you have your own personal pets. And then also, um, if the animal is in foster care, then the foster will arrange a meet and greet. So this week, actually, our adoption prices are free at our locations. So these are for the dogs and the puppies that are staying in our kennels. And it only applies to dog and puppies because our kitten adoptions have been going really well. So to free up kennel space, we are having a free adoption special at our three different locations. But the animals in our foster care and when we don't have specials, it's $200 for a puppy. It's $85 for um, a dog that's seven months and older, so an older puppy and older. $125 for a kitten, and then also um, for a kitten, $75 for a cat. So remind us again, if somebody wants to adopt or foster an, an animal through SA Pets Alive, how can they get in contact with you guys? Yes, yes, so our website is www.sanantoniopetsalive.org. Our phone number is 210-370-7612. Also, we encourage people to follow us on our social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram. We post about when there is a code red so to inform the community. We think it's important to educate the community about what's going on. We also do post about our long stay animals, animals that really need a home, a loving home. They've been in our care for way too long. And then different events, you know, right now we have a raffle going on. So ways to support our animals um, in addition to encouraging everyone to come meet and visit with our animals too. We have three different locations and those are all on our website. Awesome, awesome. Well, Alexis, thank you so much for your time. Thank you to Serena as well for joining us as well. We appreciate you guys both and hopefully we find a great home for this puppy and for all your dogs and cats that you have here. We hope so as well. Thank you so much, thank appreciate you. it. At Mission Park and Mission Park Cares, we'd like to bring you more programming each and every week. Yes, just subscribe here or catch us every Sunday morning on Fox 29. And remember, at Mission Park, it's our mission to care.